Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you guys how to set a timer on individual quiz or survey pages. And we are using InstaWP to set up our WordPress environment. And this service allows you to launch a WordPress installation in under one minute. So check it out, InstaWP.io. So back at our dashboard, what we want to do is go over to our QSM plugin, click it. So this is our quiz and survey master dashboard. This is an amazing plugin that allows you to set up online quizzes, surveys, polls, questionnaires, and more. So um, we already have some quizzes and surveys set up. So all we want to do is go down to our quizzes or survey section at the bottom. Click this. All right. So these are our quizzes and surveys. So let's click work experience. So this is a survey. And we have the name at the top, work experience. We have some questions already. It says, what company do you work for? As well as some other questions. So let's scroll back up and go to our options. So click options. And we see that we have some settings that we can configure. Uh, there's a timer, but this is the overall timer for our exam. But this does not pertain to individual pages. It's just the overall timer. Let's go back to our questions. All right. So if we click on this gear icon, the settings um, icon, we see that we can only configure two options. So we need the advanced timer add on. So let's go back to our dashboard, our QSM dashboard, go under the heading that says next steps and click extend QSM with pro add ons. So this should take us to a landing page where we could find our individual add on. So click advanced timer. So this is the add on that will allow us to add a timer to individual quiz pages. And if we do a live preview, we see that we can actually test the add on before purchasing. So we see here that we have our questions. This is our quiz page, our quiz. And on the bottom right corner, we have our timer. To purchase the add-on, click Add to Cart and follow the checkout process. Once you're done, you should receive a link to download the plugin. So I'm going to show you guys how to install the plugin. Go over to Plugins, click Add New, and click Upload Plugin. So now you just want to browse for it on your computer. Okay, so once you've found it, just click Open, and you see that it's now selected. So we just want to click Install Now. All right, so our plugin has been installed successfully. We just want to click activate plugin. All right, so we have successfully activated our plugin. And right now we just want to go over to our QSM plugin. Uh, go to quizzes or surveys and click work experiences. All right, so right now we just want to go over to our edit page icon to edit our page. So we see that we have additional options now that we've installed our advanced timer plugin, but let's change this page name. Let's call this um, uh, part one. All right. So let us set our timer. How many minutes do we want the user to complete the page in? Let's say three minutes. Uh, three minutes should be enough. So on to our next option. Show warning for a specific remaining time. Let's say two minutes. Save page. All right, so let's set up the second page. So let's rename this page. Let us call it um, part two. And how many minutes? Let's say seven minutes. Show warning for a specific remaining time, three minutes. So if we leave this value at zero, it will show no warning. Okay, so we have set up our individual page timers. So let's preview it. And we see that we have our survey right here with our timers. So it's just under three minutes right now, but let's wait for the warning at two minutes. So back at our QSM dashboard, if we click advanced timer, we see that we have some more options. So we can show the timer at the bottom of the page and we can also change our timer design. So let's choose timer with progress bar. And we can also show a warning when the timer is 90% completed. So if we go back to our survey, we see that the time is under two minutes. So our warning is being displayed. So if we reload this page and click next, we see that we have our new timer at the bottom uh, with the progress bar. And this timer is also sticky. So if you scroll, it still stays at the bottom of the page. So once we are happy with our preview, 
what we want to do is click publish quiz and let's go over to QSM click quizzes or surveys and let's copy our shortcode next to work experience click copy and let's create a post so if this is your first post you'll see some instructions but we'll just close this for now and let's add a title let's um, say let's call this sample survey at the bottom um, click the plus sign and search for a short code block click short code and let's paste the short code right here click preview preview a new tab and once you are happy with the preview you can go back and click publish so let's click publish click publish again alright so we have successfully published our survey